Hey guys, it's the voice of Adrian Jensen again for ProductionCrate.com. Today I want to tell you about Production Crate's new script. It's the Production Crate Hologram script. You guys, it's free. It's a free script. As you can see, I've already downloaded it for free and installed it. But what you maybe can't see is what's hidden behind it. It's a, it's a little dancing alien. It's also a free clip. It's from FootageCrate.com and we're going to turn him into a bit of a hologram today. So all I really need to do to get this started is to just click this little plus sign right here to apply the hologram effect and we just wait for a second while it loads <laughs> and look at that with absolutely no effort we've created a pretty sweet looking hologram effect it looks a little bit better if I zoom in uh, shout out a full hundred percent check that out so we've also got a lot of different controls here we can use so let's just go through them this first one is for frame rate and you can click the checkbox to turn that on and that will reduce the frame rate of your footage but it will not reduce the frame rate of all the hologram effects. So as you can see now the aliens dancing is <laughs> so now as you can see the aliens dancing is much more stuttery, but all of the uh interference and the distortion and stuff is still moving at uh 30 frames a second or whatever it is I have this composition set to. Scan lines of course are these straight lines going horizontally across the alien. They don't necessarily have to be horizontally. You can change the direction of them. Oh, I don't know if I necessarily would. And then you can also change change the size of the scan lines, how far apart they are spaced. If you like, there's also a checkbox called perpendicular scan lines, which if checked, will add some scan lines going opposite of whichever way your original scan lines were going. So that'll give you more of a pixel, like a TV screen look rather than a scan line look. The signal interference, it's just gonna be some extra like stripes of brighter and darker sections going horizontally across your footage. We can turn it up so we can see it a bit more. There we go. These lines here, that's the signal interference. And there are controls included here to turn up the interference speed to make it move faster. And also some controls for noise. If you want it to look super grainy, you can do that. Every time I'm changing something, I'm just hitting reset to bring me back to the original hologram look. Displacement, there's a few different kinds. A large displacement, if we turn it up very high, you can see it gives us a super wiggly look from top to bottom. Usually I like to keep that super subtle. And then there's uh, controls for speed, which can turn that up high, make it move faster if you want. We turn on the micro displacement. This is like tiny, tiny displacement that kind of starts to make it look like your scan lines are a bit misaligned with each other. So if we turn that up a bit more, you'll see what I'm talking about. Obviously that's too high. And the traveling displacement, there we go. I turned it up real high so you can see this traveling displacement is going to move up and down and just cause some stripes of extra displacement. Obviously we don't want this much, but it's kind of a cool way to add some variation to your hologram. These flicker controls here, all that's going to do is just kind of cause your hologram to get brighter and darker between the frames. See that? There's a bit of flashing going on now and we could make it faster, more intense if we want to. There's controls here for pixelation, which we just check that on, but you can guess what it's going to do. It just kind of makes our hologram start to look like it's pretty low res. All of these things are keyframable. All of these things could be controlled with the expressions as well. So if you want to have your resolution kind of coming in and out, uh, like you're sort of losing your signal a bit, you could do that with keyframes or expressions. Color, obviously you can pick whatever color you like. And there's also the color influence slider, which if you turn it all the way down, you're just gonna get back your original colors. But you can also put it somewhere between zero and 100 and just slightly tint your subject, which is what I would prefer to do. I think that's a good look. Glow, we've got a built-in glow which you can turn on and off it's it's a really nice looking glow it's actually kind of beautiful but at the same time it is a bit rudimentary because we didn't include a whole lot of controls here I know there are a lot of great uh, aftermarket glow plugins out there and if you happen to have one of those that you really like you could just turn this glow off and apply your own glow over the top but the glow that's built in should suffice for most purposes I believe blur and sharpen are a bit self-explanatory the sharpening is cool because it brings out the hologram details like the scan lines and the displacement. So as you can see with the sharpening turned off, the scan lines are there but they don't really pop very much so that's why we have the sharpening there. And then you can include some blur as well to just kind of make this whole thing look more realistic see with no blur. It, it looks very after effectsy if you know what I mean. So that's why by default we have some blur and some sharpening as well because uh, I feel like you need both. 
chromatic aberration. If we turn up the separation, <laughs> we start to get this pretty crazy, gnarly color separation look more than I would ever want. And then we also have these sliders here for color variation, speed, and amount. And that's gonna make your color channels kind of dance around a little bit. Finally, the projection rays, I know you notice them. Uh, you can turn them on and off. You choose to want them or not. You can control the length and the intensity of them and the origin as well. So you could move this point control to wherever it is in your scene that your hologram is being emitted from and that's the direction that your projection rays will point. And that's the hologram effect. But we also have a bunch of different built-in presets, including a random button. Check this out. We bring our alien into a new composition. We could just hit the random preset, wait for it to build itself, and we're going to get a look. Now, obviously, not all of them are going to be genius. So uh, if you don't like this look, which, I mean, it's kind of interesting, actually, if I turn off the rays, I kind of like it, to be honest. But let's say you don't, you can hit control Z to undo it and apply it again and let's see what we get. Uh, we're kind of striking gold with these randoms dude because this one looks pretty good too I think. See what else we can get. Okay <laughs> finally a bad one. Uh, I really don't care for this one. I don't know what you were thinking random button. Let's try one more see if we can get something good. All right, here's a cool noisy turquoise one. So you could apply random a couple of times and use this as a starting point to maybe actually get something you like. So for example, I think it's far too noisy. So just turn that noise down, maybe intensify these scan lines a bit. I don't know, I think that looks kind of neat. Certainly a unique look. You can use this to try and pretend that you're very creative and uh, you've come up with a very cool, unique hologram. And that is the projection, <laughs> excuse me, that is the production crate hologram script in a nutshell. It's a free script. Um, I'm really happy with this look that I kind of accidentally came up with using the random button. So you could definitely make some unique holograms with it, or you could make some more traditional looking ones using these presets if that's what you like. But either way, you can make some very nice holograms with very little effort and for very little money because it is free. Another thing I could point out is that on Footage Crate, we have these new um, projector beam effects that you could download and use in your scene as well well to add a little kind of a, a practical projector effect to coincide with your hologram to add a little bit of realism because they're real effects. Also, if you want to know how to make a hologram on your own without using the script, we just released a tutorial for that this past Saturday. So feel free to check that out as well. How are we going to do that? It's a recording, so please, no questions. And I think that's pretty much all that I have to say to you at this time. I've been Adrian Jensen for Production Create. I appreciate you watching and leaving a like if you want to. Goodbye. Goodbye.